Hey guys, uh, my name is Andrew. I'm part of the team that built the Purdue Pharma, which is a pill dispenser that's intended for long-term healthcare facilities. So we're looking at more of a patient uh, caretaker dynamic. Um, and so the way that it works is that uh, the device is desktop size, so it's intended to be used and not um, necessarily a portable way for a patient to be able to use it. It'll just be like in a bathroom or on a coffee table or something like that. Um, the way that it works is that the patient uh, will get reminded at a specific time uh, when they need to take their medication. And so then an alarm will go off, there'll be some audio visual cues. Um, and so at that time, the patient will have a 15 minute window to be able to uh, have their medication. Um, there's a dispensing area, basically a hole where the patient can put their hand, their, a bowl, a cup. And once the device detects it, there's gonna be a um, button that allows them to, to confirm and to dispense the medication. And then the patient is able to take it. The patient has that 15 minute window. Um, that the caretaker uh, sets. And so the caretaker, the way that the caretaker is able to access the device is that there's a, spe there's a separate admin mode um, where the caretaker ha is able to enter security code to be able to unlock the lid of the device where um, inside you're able to put in 21 doses of the specific medication that they want, as well as um, being able to access a log or history of the, of the dosage of whether the patient has taken it at a specific time or not. So with that, there's a really interesting um, caretaker patient dynamic in that there is also um, accessibility. We really strive to make sure that since this device is intended for long-term healthcare facilities, that we wanted to make it as, as accessible as possible. And examples with that, of that would be having tactile key buttons um, so that both the patient is able to press the button properly as well as for the caretaker to be able to um, input the pin and, and confirm its settings and, and things like that. Um, as well as we, with the advantage of having um, tactile keys, uh, we're able to have uh, braille stickers over them so that patients who have low vision would be able to interact with the device at a more uh, 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 with more ease. We also have a larger LCD screen for um, the patient to be able to read uh, the, the text there better. Um, and yeah, so I'm looking forward to having the device uh, be shown at the Spark Challenge and can't wait to see what you guys think about it. Thank you.